AGV2 or Auto Grinder version 2 is a machine I started back in January of 2022. Once completed, the AGV2 would be able to produce the player $55,000 an hour without having to do anything. That's right, this would be the first and only way to produce money in Lumber Tycoon 2 without any player input. Now unfortunately, I am using the metaphorical tense here because this project was never completed and now it cannot be completed because of changes that Roblox has made over the past few months. So with the project now rendered useless, I thought I might as well just make a video talking about what it would be like if it actually functioned and just discuss some of the history that went into this year-long project. So this is all of AGV2 that's been completed in the past year or so. We've got the main turning mechanism which has been patched by some sort of Roblox thing. Defaultio didn't do it, so it's gotta be some Roblox issue. Anyways, next up we got this guardrail system here, and how this would work is it would weld to a car right here, and that would in turn make it so that this guardrail would weld to the main door bridge, making a nice little ramp for Icewood to travel down. If you don't know already, this machine was meant to go to Icewood and was meant to consist of two main bridges, one containing saws and one containing what's called a spawn cover. And this spawn cover would prevent all trees in the frostwood area from spawning besides in a controlled area of space. This is because in order for a tree to spawn it needs a raycast to reach the sky. If there's a door in front of it, it obviously cannot do which means it must spawn in this little area here. Anyways, this over here takes the door bridge it's already rotated and welded to this sleigh here which transfers the conveyor properties to it allowing the ice wood once chopped down to conveyor back to the player's base. Now the reason a sleigh is needed here is because the sleigh's tailgate is rotated at exactly a 15 degree angle which allows it to weld to the door bridge that's also rotated at a 15 degree angle which is quite cool. This system over here is where the sleigh is located and basically just allows the bridge to weld to that system that we just looked at. Now because Icewood is so far away, we need to go really high to build the store bridge, and these chairs come in really handy as you can quickly go up to the top of the base using them. And up here is where the aforementioned spawn cover would be, and this is where the progress on the build ends. Along with the spawn cover, this is where the saws would also be welded, and if you don't know, saw welding is something I discovered a while ago, in which you take the saw and you place it like this, and it will weld to the car, so that you can actually move the saw independently, and you can even move it off of your base, and it still works on trees. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyways, in theory, the saws would all be placed along this line here, and then when the bridge lowers, it would chop down all the ice trees that are spawned in the little area of land that's not protected by the spawn cover, and then all the trees would funnel back on the conveyor back to the base, they would get sawmilled, and they would go straight into the wood drop-off. So yeah, that's the gist of how it would work, and this right here is about halfway done the project. It's taken me about 150-ish hours so far of just researching and building and just brute forcing different welding techniques. However, of course we can't actually complete it because of the stupid Roblox patches, I don't even know what they were, but they somehow broke the two main things that make this door bridge possible, so that's awesome. So yeah, this was a different type of video, again I just wanted to put out there that I've been working on this and I was going to make a video on it if I ever finished it, but of course not, that's impossible. I thought, hey, I might as well just tell you guys what I've been up to. So yeah, that's all I got for you today, goodbye.